Hello friends and family, welcome back to my channel. As some of you may know, I am currently living in Austria and I've been living in Austria for over a year and a half now and it is getting honestly better and better as time goes. I, I didn't know if it could, but it is, especially with me and Lucas's growing family and many more and other, other great things. But in this video, I wanted to do something a little bit different about Austria and it's the bread culture. So today I'll be talking to you about different types of breads, my experiences, and the different things that I think is good to know when you come and visit Austria. Some of you may not know this, but my partner's family, they actually own a bakery. So we have like unlimited supply of carbs <laughs> and it's great um, i must say but sometimes i'm like okay the temptation is real <laughs> and what we what we're going to be using today to talk about the breads is actually the breads from the bakery and so there's some breads that are sp specialized for a certain event or some breads are just normal uh, Austrian breads that are here year round. So we're gonna be talking about those. But first, I wanna talk about my first experience when I came here to visit Lucas. Oh my God, it's about to be two years ago. 2020 of October is when I first came here. And I had my first experience trying Austrian bread, especially, what was it called? Dark, ah, yeah, dark bread. And I was like, Schwarzbrot, yeah, <laughs> I was like, what is that? And I was curious, I was like, okay, is it wheat bread? And I think Lucas was saying, no, it's, is it like wheat bread? I don't know. Oh, sourdough. It contains sourdough. Yeah. Ah, sourdough, okay. It contains sourdough. So I was like, okay, I'm interested to try it. And one time, I think one or two times when I was here to visit him in October, we had breakfast and traditional Austrian breakfast is also different. That's another video, but I wanted to try it. So I tried it with my, with my breakfast and I was like, Wow, it was so fresh. And even though I don't know if it was made like literally maybe 10 minutes ago or maybe an hour ago, it was just so fresh. And I was like, wow, this is something that you do not get at all. To me personally, I never got in America. So it was just amazing to try. And then the next thing I kind of want to talk about is actually the bread culture here. This is my opinion. So everything in this video is strictly my opinion. If you have something you want to say, or if you have a different opinion or a different information that I don't have, or if I don't say, please leave it down below in the description or not in the description box, blah, in the comments below. And we'll definitely have a discussion about it. And we can do maybe do another video, part two of the breads. So what was told to me <laughs> through Lucas is that the bread culture here in Austria, this is like I said before, my opinion is really strong because because like you literally get bread almost with like not say every meal but it's always like you cannot go somewhere and they do not have like let's just say a semmel like a normal like austrian semmel or just some sort of bread like item there and it's just something that i think is just so ingrained and what lucas has told me is that it really started like back in the day in the monastery it's monasteries and they're making the bread there and it just started to grow and grow more and more and deeper into the Austrian culture and throughout Austria. And now they have like one of the greatest variety of different types of bread. Yes, <laughs> he wanted me to say the greatest. I'm like, one of the greatest. <laughs> Team Austria over here. Like I said before, it started growing throughout Austria and then little villages, like almost every village had like a small little bakery or some sort of source to get bread. But nowadays because of growing like, you know, supermarkets and it's 21st century and you know, people are like, oh, it's just easier to go into a market and just grab those instant kind of breads, whatever. It's there, all the small little bakeries are dying out. But fortunately for, for us here in, in, in our village that we're living in, his family provides the local bread and it's really just amazing. Like it's something that I, I personally think you cannot like, trade or compare to from a supermarket bread to a natural um, homemade, like everything type of bread that you get in their bakery. So it's just something that now I'm kind of like spoiled with. Like I can't go back to American bread, there's no way. <laughs> and so like you see behind me, it is, October, uh, or not right now I'm filming and it's still September, <laughs> but it is my brain, it's already in October. And it's kind of the, the wine harvest season of, of 
the year. Like it's big right now. Like every morning we're hearing tractors, people waking up at like 4.30, maybe earlier, and you're just hearing them just getting their day started. And one of the big things that is, I think, also in rooted into the wine harvest is like the wine bread. Like you get bread for the wine harvest. And it's called Das Lesebrot. Okay, I said it right. <laughs> I'm making sure. And so with the bread, like imagine that you are working in the wine, wine fields and you're working your butt off to get all those grapes and all this stuff. And then at the end of the day, or is it middle of the day? It could be middle of the day. Middle of the day. Is it the middle of the day or in the end of the day? Can be both. Okay, can be both. Okay, so imagine it's like middle of the day and you're like, oh man, I need a pause or I need a break. And so traditionally they have like, is it cold foods, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they will have like cold foods and then they will have the uh, das Lesebrot, which is for the wine harvest. So they'll have this bread and yeah, and it's very different from what you'll see in America. It's, this is... I've never seen bread. I've only seen bread like this in like Beauty and the Beast, like Belle when she's walking through the village and you're like, oh my God. This poor provincial town. Good morning, Belle. Good morning, monsieur. Where are you off to? And like, I've never seen it before until I came here, honestly. Crust, like, hold on. Oh. Oh. ASMR. Oh. <laughs> it smells so good. Oh. Look. Look at that flower on your hand. Oh, it's a real deal. It's the real stuff. And then they also have a small version here too. So like I said before, oh my gosh, it's very flowery. So this is like the normal one that I guess you can say for the wine harvest. And then this is a smaller one. And this one is actually in the bakery in his family's bakery all year long. So it's always there. And I, I kind of like it because it's really cute and it's like it's pocket size. So yeah. And now I'm gonna talk about di different vibe. I can't say it. Variety. I can't. Sometimes I forget my English words. I'm like, variety. <laughs> like, I'm like, what am I saying? And now I'm gonna talk about different variety of, of breads. So like, there's different kind of like grains and I guess you also say seasonings for different types of breads. So we're gonna look, we're gonna look at these different types and show you. And again, before this is a, definitely a video of, of my opinion and what. I'm exposed to, so like I said before, if you have anything to add, please add it in the comments below. So as I mentioned before, there's different types of variety um, in the bakery or what you can see in an Austrian bakery. So for example, some breads have more flour on, on top of it and it's called Gestalt. And then there's some other ones as well that has like different spices or more spices in it and that's called Gewürzt. And then the first one we have up here is the Rogan Brot. What? Okay. Rogan broth. <laughs> Rogan broth. And this is made of what? Rogan. Oh, it's made, it's made of Rogan. I don't know what that is in English. I'll put it here. <laughs> but I've never tried this bread, honestly. I've never tried it yet. But it smells really good. It's still fresh, has flour on it. And then as you can see, it's definitely flat, like compared to the harvest bread that we talked about before, the differences and like, I guess the rays of it, I don't know the bread talk or the bread verbatim, but you can just tell it's a little bit different, flatter, more round in a circular shape. So it's, it's pretty cool. The, the different types of breads you can really see in a bakery. And then now, which one, this one? Whole grain bread. Whole grain bread. Ooh, this one was my favorite, like literally my favorite. And this is whole grain bread. Like, look at that. Look at that. Like whole grain bread in, in America does not look like this. Look at that. Like you can see like the oatmeal on top of it. Like the oats, sorry, not oatmeal. <laughs> the oats, that. Sorry, I'm just in love with this one. You're gonna cut it? Yeah. Oh, he's gonna cut it actually. Look, he's gonna cut it. Oh, look at that. That's what's inside the bread. It smells so good. Like, sorry, I'm just in love with this one. Ugh. Get a room, you two. Okay, and then now I'm gonna show you the another type, which is like Quebec, and it's yeah, like Lucas said, Quebec. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the first one that I have. Okay, I'm doing I'm doing Lucas's favorite, and Lucas's favorite is Kajestangel. So it's like a cheese bread. Mm. Focus. I don't know if it's focusing. No, it's probably not. But look at that. It's amazing. 
But yes, cheesy bread, you can eat it honestly with anything. You can cut it in half, put case in, or case I'm talking in German. You put cheese in it, you put cheese in it, you can put meats in it. You can honestly just put like a, um, they have like, it's called like a sour cream, almost like dip. They put it also, you can put in it and you can eat it with like breakfast, lunch and dinner, like literally almost with anything. And it's a really good side or bread option. And the next one is Brotstangel. And it has a mix of like cheese and spices. It's like a hybrid of the harvest bread. So it's kind of just like a, I wanna say mini version of it. And it has different, like I said before, spices and cheese in it. And I've honestly, I've tried it before. And it's to me, I'm just someone that's not really in love with salt. So it's kind of too salty for me, but for those who like it, yeah, definitely. Aha, uh -huh. and this one is Knoblauch Stangel. So it's garlic, like Quebec. So inside it has like a garlic sauce. It's like a garlic sauce. So it has like sesame on it. This is it here. And then inside I'm gonna break it in half so you can see the inside. And then so the next one is the Schweizer Wurzelbrot. And this is actually one of my favorites. Like, look at it. And it still has like the flour on top of it. It's like amazing. And one of, the, one of the cool facts about it is that they let it sit, like the, the dough sit in olive oil overnight. So it's definitely different from like the other breads. And what I liked, what I like about it is that you can cut it in half, like, like also like with the Kajestangel, you can put different things on top of it. You can put things, make it a sandwich, <laughs> sandwich like an American sandwich. And what I also like to get is just like putting like different vegetables, eggs, or something on it. And it's just really, really good. Like, so it's a really good like, bread for making like, sandwiches. Love it. And this is last but not least, the famous, notorious, Austrian semmel. <laughs> so this one, like I said before, you can see, you can find this bread anywhere in Austria. You can find it in the supermarket. You can find it in, yes, other bakeries. But let me tell you, they do it really well downstairs, downstairs. And honestly, like I've tried different symbols in like different restaurants here. And I, I'm not trying to be biased, but maybe I am, I'm not sure. But it's, this is one of the best, like one of the top best that I've ever tried here. So the semmel is like the main Austrian bread option. So it's just amazing. Okay, yeah, so that's all like the breads I have here today. And let me tell you though, that's literally only 10% of what is in an Austrian bakery. Like we only picked the, the top ones that you can normally kind of find here throughout Austria. And that's only like a little like drop of what, what you can find. So maybe in, an, in another video, or maybe I'll make another part two video of different types of breads, or maybe even sweets you can find in a bakery and to show you this, how much you can get here. And it's just this full of just goodness. Like it's just amazing. But thank you so much for watching this video. Like I we really appreciate it. We so much appreciate the love and support, especially with our pregnancy journey videos. And we're definitely gonna continue trying to make videos before our baby comes, cause he's gonna be coming in like five, maybe I'm hoping four, four weeks. He'll be coming and I am ready for him to be here. I cannot tell you how much I want him here already. But thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.